Hello, Hello Lifehacker Life family. family. It's so good to see you guys yeah. again. Today we have a wonderful interview with Angel. She is in our mentorship group. We yeah. love her. She's the sweetest woman you'll ever meet. And she has been slaying it on Etsy with our system. Yeah, exactly. So basically she just took our free course that's free to everybody uh, on the playlist and she just ran with it and has been working her little booty off and has had some amazing results and we're going to dive all into it in this video so stay tuned and listen to a success journey uh, get your paper and pencil out yep. and get ready to be inspired because she's one bad mama she so. really is amazing yeah enjoy yay hello, hello my Packer Packer family. family okay so we are so so excited we have one of our most beloved students ever angel here and she's going to be telling her story uh basically how she went from just being a mama bear to making a thousand dollars in revenue using our free course in the year 2020 so she's gonna unveil to you some of her secrets so get your notepad out and just get ready to be inspired so we're we're so excited to have you here and thanks so much for taking the time to be here with us angel yes hi um so back in january when you, it was like your guys's first video that you guys ever released um it was like two days after it um oh my I god that happened to it, actually. I that. no it's so like cool, yeah yeah so i'm one of the veterans yeah <laughs> apprentices yeah um so i guess to preface it why i was even on on um youtube like looking at etsy videos um, as our New Year's goal, my husband and I sat down and we decided we really wanted to add some revenue streams to our family. And he he works in not-for-profit, I work in education. So, um, you know, we, we obviously have income coming in, but it, it, it's not a lot. And we're pretty much maxed out, like, as far as like, there's nothing else that we can do to make more money in our jobs. Yeah. Um, and even with that, um, it, it was frustrating because we could never like get ahead. Like we always had an, enough money for our bills. You know, we both have, you know, college loans to pay off and things like that. Um, and we did really well saving before we had a child. And then once we, of course, once we had children, it was just like the savings was just like, you know, out the door, you know, we uh, need yeah. to buy a new car and um, we bought a home and things like that. And so we were, we were always like frustrated because we were, we were, you know, always paying our bills, but we could never get ahead mm -hmm. to save for, you know, extra retirement or to go on trips and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so we just talked about adding um, a revenue stream. And so I, I thought, you know, I'm already working full time and I, I'm a mom and I have a household to take care of. You know, I don't want to just get a second job. Um, and so I thought, well, maybe I can sell earrings on Etsy. And so I learned how to make these cool kibachi um, earrings and, and everyone who I showed, showed them like love them. And I was super excited about it. And then I started to look a little bit more into selling like physical items on Etsy. And so these were the stats I found and they were very discouraging. Um, it said I had... It's 65% of Etsy sellers earn less than $100 a year. Oh my God. And so I was very sad when I read that. Yeah. Um, it takes three months to make your first sale. Wrong. The not, <laughs> not, not the case with your method. Um, and the average salary for an American full-time worker is $40,000. To earn $40,000 per year, you would have to, to sell a product around $25. You would have to sell like 1,600 of them. And I was like, oh my goodness, how could I ever have time to sell a thousand, you know, pairs of earrings. And so I was discouraged at first, but I was like, you know what, this is just like for extra income and, you know, I'm going to enjoy it. So what the heck, I'm just going to like, you know, just get the ball rolling. And then um, I was looking up different um, YouTube tutor tutorials on selling on Etsy and um, tips for selling on Etsy. And I happened upon your video, um, your yours and your wife's video. Yeah. And you guys were just like so genuine. And I like I hate get rich schemes. I, my parents, I felt like kind of fell victim to that growing up. And I've always been very leery of that. I'm I, you know, I have a pretty good eye for like pyramid schemes and like weird stuff like this. And like you guys were so genuine. And I was so excited that I even showed my husband your video. And he was like a little skeptical. He's like, oh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I was just like, you know, I remember you had like a call to action at the end of the video and you're like, you know, make your Etsy shop now. Do it now. And I think the biggest thing for me was just that, like you guys weren't getting anything out of it. Like you guys weren't like saying like, here, click this and, you know, send me a hundred dollars for this. And then I'm going to, you know, this, you know, sign up for my, my class. And it wasn't like that. It was just like, Hey, you can set up an Etsy shop for free for free. <laughs> and, you know, if you list something, it's 20 cents. Like that was just like, it was a no brainer. It wasn't like, it, it, it was just a call to action to just start your Etsy shop get the ball rolling because there was, you're missing out money. 
yeah. not doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and what's so cool about it is that you don't have to be a designer. You don't have to be like, a, have this business background, like all of that will come. And the most important thing is just taking action and just setting up your Etsy shop, syncing it with Printful and doing your, your, um, your market research, which is like, sounds like scary and fancy, but it's not, it's just like finding bestsellers on Etsy. Um, it's, it's not like this crazy, like difficult formula. It is work. It is work. Um, you, you know, it is passive in a way, but you have to front load the work in order for it to become passive, which is why like a lot of people think that like, oh my goodness, if this was that easy, it would be so saturated. And, you know, you can't make money on, Et on Etsy because it's so saturated. It's not true because most people aren't willing to do the work. You know, just like you've talked about, you know, people are going to try it out and go, oh, well, I didn't, you know, sell something after 10 listings. So I'm just going to give up. And most people do. Oh, yeah. That's why 65% of people who sell on Etsy may only make $100 a year. And it's, it's, it's because when they're trying to make physical items and it's, that's very time consuming to do. Um, and, you know, it can be really expensive if you're trying to, you know, house all this product, product in your home. It's, it's, you're trying to go to the post office and ship it out. And, you know, it's really hard to do that. Um, and with using print on, on demand, it frees up your time so that you can just like, like you said, just like list stuff like crazy and put stuff out. out. I mean, if you, if you have a thousand listings, which I, I know sounds like a, a lot, but like if you're doing, you know, 10 a week yeah. before you know it, it adds up you know, over a year or over two years, like if you're trying to do it slower, it will come if you just, if you're consistent, okay. even, even if you don't, if you're, if you're not able to do a thousand in, you know, six months, you know, even just doing 10 listings a week or five listings a week, you're going to end up getting there rather than someone who doesn't ever try it. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's so important to just get started, get the ball rolling. You can do it. You don't have to be, um, you know, a graph designer. It yeah. there's zero excuses, zero. Like if you're saying, I don't know how to design it over, stop, stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, you can. If you, if you have typed out a text message before and, and add an emoji, you're done. You're good. You're, you can I, do this. Okay. Amen. <laughs> amen. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Yes. I, I feel like people think, oh, you know, overs this or that. And, and that oh, might be, it's so know, easy. Yes. It's very easy. So yeah, easy. Very easy. And, and that's something. Um, it's really interesting that you mentioned like a couple of things there um, about the the work it does take to physically, you know, send out products. And that's how Kelsey and I got started. Um, and <clears throat> we actually just recently uh, around Christmas time saw uh, the guy that owns our print shop, who's a family friend, uh, not mm -hmm. our print shop, owns the print shop that we use mm -hmm. to do our stuff. And he was like, yeah, he's like, you know, I love you guys. Like, I'm so glad that you guys are teaching. Like, I'm so proud of you guys. Like he literally from like, the first year was like, you guys have to write a book. Oh my like, gosh, so many years. Because he's cute. He's like in his 70s. Yes, you know? so he's he's always like, like, you guys should. I would buy your book. <laughs> so from the first year, he was like, and this is back in like 2012. He's like, you guys have to write a book. Like so many people come into my shop and say, hey, I want to start a business. I want to start a you know, clothing line. But they don't have, you know, they order 20 shirts and then that's it. They never come back. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, and he was talking to us. He's like, yeah. He's like, Kathy was like, his wife was looking through some stuff. He's like, yeah, he's like, what was it, like 70,000 or 75,000, something so, yeah. like that. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, you guys have ordered like over 70,000 shirts from us so far. And he's like all from that first meeting. And so we've had over 70,000, you know, clothing items that were physically made and we had to go to the post office and, and we had, and had to yes. ship them out, like, you know, or our nice. team did. And so it's like, and that is an immense amount of work. Now, the thing that we, you know, and most people don't understand is we're just totally fine because you know, we're just people on YouTube, who knows, right? But we've been entrepreneurs for like almost a decade. And we started from that. We started physically making like each individual shirt ourselves before we ever knew Mike. <laughs> Literally, we still have the coffee table that has white ink all over it uh, from the first thing that we ever made. And so we understand like literally like blood, sweat, tears of like making physical items. And so I think that was like, you know, that was our unique journey with God is like going through that six year period, then being like from the OG community and seeing uh, the print on demand. And from the, like, I'm not kidding the second, like within the week, cause we were so dialed in on Etsy yeah. that Printful made a announcement that they were going to naturally integrate with Etsy. Me and Kelsey are like, you got to try this. Yeah. And so we were like the very first people, like, mm -hmm. and probably the, you know, most, you know, to be honest, the most successful people, the earliest from Printful and Etsy. 
and we understood the thing that you just mentioned, which is like why most people fail, why it's you know hard to think about how to make 40,000, you gotta sell 1600 items. We understood all of these things from the very first second that this like opportunity was available. Mm -hmm. And that was what, you know, we had that dinner almost one year ago today, uh, actually probably a little over a year, because I think it was before Christmas last year, uh, yeah. where we're like, we have to tell this to people like we want to help out moms just like you angel like we literally yeah. sat at dinner looked each other in the eyes and we're like we can keep this for ourselves or we can put it on youtube and you know and like you said there's like the oh it could be a get rich quick scene blah, blah blah it's like we don't sell anything so there's nothing to buy yeah. and so uh -huh. we don't really get that we're just people from the internet but it's like that what people almost don't understand is that we've had 10 years of like entrepreneurial spirit. We're not some random people that like started like one day ago and we're like, hey, right. I don't do this, but you know, you should and like give me money and I'll teach right. you out. And so like, you know, you're seeing literally the crescendo of like 10 years of like, you know, labor mm -hmm. and effort. And like I'm so I'm so glad that you were able to identify that from the very first video. Yeah, no. Like that was yeah, like, no. oh my gosh, that was literally our dream is that if we could somehow convey that clearly to like literally we literally had the exact words we're like you know people that are moms you know people that want to make a little extra money people that and we didn't know the pandemic or anything was going to happen right. this was january first week of january when we posted that first video so long story short is that all of that and the fact that you saw the first video and it, it resonated <laughs> with you and like we were able to somehow be clear that we're like we don't have anything to sell we just want you to be you know yes. successful uh and you saw us like i feel like makes us feel really good oh my gosh you know so, I mean? good. so yeah, yeah like your success means the world to us so. you were an answer to prayers so <laughs> for, for well, more than my prayers i'm sure so you guys well, are awesome it's both ways so yeah so we're i don't know i just am beyond grateful that you're in our lives so. one thousand percent yes. yeah i feel like you're the person we dreamed of too. Yeah. <laughs> you really are it's amazing how like we can see now all the people that were like gravitated towards us are the people who we had in mind and it just now we see you know why we felt the way that we did it yeah. we can see the big picture now and it's so rewarding for us to be able to help all of like you know you and cassandra and jill and um alex you know you guys are just yeah. You know, hundreds else. of yeah, yes, the thousand, yes. like we have thirty four thousand yes. people now. It doesn't even. No, I, I love reading the messages on the um the Facebook videos because like I've seen people say that like you know I lost my business during the pandemic or lost my hey. job. And because of, you know, your method, I am supporting my family right now. So like, there's way more people than me, you know, even, I mean, there's probably people that you don't even know about that you've, you've helped, oh, yeah. them, you know, help them provide for their family. So yes. yeah. 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 And you know, we, we don't feel like we're doing anything. We just feel like we're just being a vessel, you know, and like, yeah, not from us, yeah, just through it's us. It's just coming through us. Yeah. And we're just so ecstatic and happy that like we can be that vessel for all of you guys yeah we love you so much and anybody who's watching this who's yes. like who's been watching all of our videos oh or this uh -huh. is the first day yes. watching a video and you're like hey uh -huh. i haven't taken any action angel tell them to take action tell them to do it <laughs> yes so even if if you, this is your first time watching this and you feel like oh my goodness they've been posting videos since january i've i've missed the boat like no like oh, no. especially now because of the pandemic we just saw you know the crazy busiest um shopping season online ever like e-commerce yeah. is crushing it like yeah. if i were an investor and I, I had to choose between investing in someone who has a brick and mortar company or someone who's who has an online company i would absolutely do you know i would invest in the online company because like it's e-commerce is just crushing it right now so like you have not missed the boat get on it um you can do this so a little bit about my journey. Um, I opened my shop in January last year after I watched your first video and I watched it on the fourth and then I opened up my shop on like the fifth. Oh my God. I like oh, I yeah. total call to action. You said, you know, do it now. You can do this. Um, it, it's, it's so crazy how like the simplest um, inspirational words help you. Like you were just like 100%, you can do this. You will succeed. And I was just like, I just believed you. I was like, I can succeed. I can do this. <laughs> and I just believed it. Oh my God. <laughs> 
That makes me so, so happy. Like you never know, because I'm literally just a guy and a girl. We're just you know in our kitchen yelling at a you know camera, and we're hoping. But that's amazing. So, yeah. so um, because I do work full time, I had to get up early in the morning. Sometimes I had to do it on, on weekends during nap time, during bre breaks at work, mm -hmm. um, after work. And so um, it took me a little bit slower. Um, it was a little slower for me to get to get there. And I also was was because I was I, I started following you at the beginning before you had all the videos out. So by the way, people who, who are just getting started, you're so lucky to have like this whole library of videos I would have loved to have had at the beginning. And so there were questions I had that I, I didn't know the answers to. So I was just kind of guessing. Um, but I was under the impression that, um, for instance, that like people came into your shop and so you all had, you had to have the same niche and like, I, I thought I have to, I wanted my store to be a baby store. So everything had to be baby. And I was really limiting myself. Um, and I didn't even realize I was doing it. Yeah. And I spent a lot of time like on my shop and I wanted it to be pretty with the banner and, and make sure, you know, there was a color scheme and like not ever knowing that people, like most people never leave your listing. You, in fact, you want them to stay on that listing. You want them to add a cart and be done. Um, and so I didn't know that. And so I, I wasted a lot of time making stuff that like I, that they didn't sell. Like my first 100 listings, I think I ended up um, creating 100 listings my first, in my first month. Um, because I was just like, I was like, just so like dead set on, on being successful. And to be honest, I wasn't su successful that first month because I didn't, I wasn't following what you said. I didn't, but I didn't know I wasn't following it. Um, so I, so just realizing that you could have lots of different niches in your story. It doesn't have to be one niche. Most people are not leaving that listing. You don't want them to leave the listing because you want them to just add a cart. And, and that's what normally people do. Just like, you know, when you're shopping on Amazon, you know, and you type in like, you know, baby blanket, you don't, you know, click on the top, the one that you, you want and then go into the store and see what other blankets they are. You know, you just, you just add to cart and you're done um, because you don't usually have time to do lots of, of searching around in the store. Um, so understanding that you, yes, please add lots of different niches. Don't be afraid to add niches. No, you know, most people are not coming into your store. They're just staying on their, you know, it's query based, you know, they're typing in, you know, meowy Christmas sweater. And then they're, you know, they're going to pick the one of the ones that they see on the first page, most likely. And that's how they're going to shop. They're just, all humans do the same thing, the same common things. And that's, it's query based. Understanding that it's query based um, is really important. Amen. I didn't understand that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know what's incredible is that I must say I am not surprised at all that literally through like working nights and side jobs and like like when you can and during naps that you made like 100K in your first year because you literally understand everything. It's like amazing. <laughs> like you listen so well. Like I, 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 we've answered so many questions that are like stuff that's like, and you just know, it's like, you understand everything that we say. Like it's literally like yeah. me and Kelsey are talking to each other. Like you just have the fundamental principles down so down packed. And like, I just, I commend you because you literally heard what we have been saying yeah. and like, look yes. go. So yeah. amen, yes. girl, amen. Yeah. Well, and, and it's like you say it so many times and, and it's when you're new, you sort of get stuck on the wrong things. Like one of the first things I got stuck on was I really thought it was the design that was selling and, and not understanding the importance of the SEO. Mm -hmm. Like the SEO there is king. Like, no, it doesn't matter how awesome. And you've said this a hundred times. It doesn't matter how awesome your designs are. Um, if someone can't find your stuff, you're not, they're not going to buy it. So that SEO is actually the most important piece. Mm -hmm. So, and, and when, when you conduct market research, all you do is like look for those bestsellers because the reason why it's selling is it's a combination of it being a good design and on a, on a good mock-up, but also having really good proven SEO, that search yeah. engine optimization, which okay. is just the titles and the tags yeah. um, that you put in. Those are so, so important. Yes. And it's and another thing I discovered was, you know, when I found a best-selling design. Um, and you're taking the SEO, which is, is what's most important. The most important piece is the SEO Absolutely. and, and just going, you know, can I add something to this? Because if you're just copying it, it's, you're going to go nowhere fast no, because, absolutely. you know, they, they, they're already up there in the search algorithm. Um, so they already, they're already on top for that design. So the only yeah. way you're going to do something as far as, as earning sales with that is to bring something new to the table. So Amen. you a different yeah, colored shirt single or thing. a new design. Oh, oh my God, I'm so <laughs> proud of you right now. I'm just like blushing with pride. Oh, it's like, I'm so, you're, you're the know. best. I yes, know. that is exactly true. Yes, <laughs> let's do a T, like what we are trying to say. And yes. I feel like people just get hung up on like, oh, they just want me to copy it. And it's no. like, no, no, no. No, we don't just copy the design. Yeah, <laughs> like we just want you to take inspiration and make it yes. your own and improve upon it. It, 
And so it's like, you know, sometimes people can be like, oh, well, I just don't want to copy their design. We're like, oh my gosh, no, don't copy their design. No, like, no, no. They no. already have, what you said is exactly right. Yes. They already have that design yeah. and they're already yes. the best. So it's like, it's like you're like running a marathon and they're on the 21st mile. They already have the bestseller badge for that mm -hmm. particular design. You're just going to blatantly copy them. And then what you're going to, why would anybody ever buy yours? It makes no sense. Yeah. Like that's right. the, it's funny because like people think that that's the strategy of success. And it's like, that's a stone no. cold strategy for failure. It makes yeah. no sense because especially if you're like, you know, they have like certain things away and you, you just make your version. They're already 20 miles ahead of you on the yes. marathon race. Yes. Like, you're never going to catch up. You got to add your color. You got to, you know, make, like you said, you have to bring your heart and yeah. intertwine mm -hmm. it as inspiration. Like, you know, I just, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you understand that point. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all because like Kelsey yeah. said, a million people think like misconstrued that it's like, yeah. no, you really, it's like, it's meant to be inspired by, and it does. The design is almost relevant. It's the yeah. SEO. No, it is. It's true. That, like this is really good <laughs> yeah. SEO for workout niche. So yeah, now yes. go make a billion workout yeah. niche stuff. It doesn't, you know, the yeah. design itself yeah. is very insignificant. Like, yes. Right. Yeah. Yep, I the agree. SEO is king. Love that. Yeah. Yes. So it's, and I remember reading a news article a while back before I even got into this about like how fast fashion was sort of impacting like uh, brick and mortar stores like JCPenney's oh, yeah. and Kohl's and why they were struggling because they were competing, competing with these fast fashion, you know, um, companies. And that's what we are is we're fast fashion yeah. and we have the edge up because like, you know, if you follow the news cycle and you guys mentioned um, in Cassandra's video, you know, someone who, who made like buku books with um, the Mike Pence, you know, the fly kind of thing. Yeah. Um, because they're just watching the news cycle and like yeah. that's what's so cool about print and demand is you can watch something today you know and go oh my gosh people are going to want this merchandise yeah. because of this happened and get it you could do it tonight and it's it's ready to go tomorrow Literally. Um, and that's what's so amazing so and and why it the market will never be oversaturated never. i can't believe how many people are just like oh se is oversaturated you can't make any money and it's like well it's because you're in the wrong niches yeah. uh, because there's it's there's endless money yeah. um Every and, day, and people, yes. Every single day, there's a new topic of conversation. Yes, yeah, if you put yes. the work in, I guarantee that you can make 365 new niches in 365 days because it'd be like, oh, uh, vice president said this. Oh, this like funny movie came yes. out. Oh, this mm -hmm. funny song lyric came out. Oh, this new meme came out. It's like, mm -hmm. and I feel like, like it's endless. people just don't yeah. understand that. Mm -mm. Yeah. So trust me, it's not oversaturated. It's not too late to jump in. Mm -hmm. Just definitely just try it just try yeah. it like you, you have to <laughs> if you're watching this video right now i i cannot like convince you enough like do it i just i if i there's some way i can compel you like get started do it you can do it um because you can i i mean i'm i'm proven the success of that you know here there's this amazing couple that who who made a lot more money than i have I, I know tons of people, you know, I'm part of the mentor group um, who are on there, who, who are just crushing it. People who, who in your comments, you know, who aren't even a part of, of the groups who just said, you know, I remember a guy who sold a Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, but Father's Day shirts back in like the spring. And he was like, I made $70,000 off of one design. And it's like, you're one design away from thousands of dollars. Like, it, and, and what's so awesome about this approach is that and any anyone who knows anything about business and starting up a business knows that like there's a loss and most companies some companies don't have profit for like years and yeah. years um and i even kind of went to it went went into this with the mindset of like you know maybe my first year i'm not going to make a, very much profit and like that's okay because it's just i'm just going to get this ball rolling and i, I started buying mock-ups and like my husband like kind of took me aside and was like, honey, you know, you might want to like start making money before you buy more mock-ups, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, it's an investment. Like yeah. it's, it, this is really important. And, and it, it and like, I, I mean, maybe I spent a couple hundred bucks, you know, between, you know, the different, um, like I, I bought the over app, there's a free version, but then there's the paid version, which is like 60 bucks. And then I got some, some um, mock-ups. And I, I, I think Cassandra talk, covered this quite a bit in her video too, just about how important the mock-ups are and having good quality mock-ups. Because in the beginning, I bought like cheap, really cheap mock-ups that were like only okay. And once I started using better mock-ups, it like, it made such a huge difference. Mm. Um, so having good quality designs, you know, proven SEO, and then, you know, good mock-ups and like, there's no way not, not to do well. Like yes. if you're doing those three things, yeah. that's all you have to do. Yes. Those three things. Yes. That's it.
Yeah, like you can absolutely. do this. <laughs> no, that is very good. Like if you just heard what she said, literally pause the video, rewind it 30 yes. seconds and watch that 10 times. Literally listen. SEO, proven SEO on bestsellers, good designs on good quality mockups. You will make money and a lot of money. <laughs> That's it, the three keys of success right there. It's really yes. true when you boil it down to that. And especially mm -hmm. for you, you know, being in the trenches since January and like going mm -hmm. through the ups and downs and highs and lows, like you just stealing it down to those three specific things and looking back retrospectively and understanding that like some businesses don't make money. You can literally make money the first week. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, no, you possible. do. You can. You, know I mean? you can. So, like, like, like I said, you know, you only, you only need a little bit of money down and then like it's all profit after that. It really like, it's insane. You you could not, you know, decide, okay, I'm going to make a shirt and then get into Walmart without spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And you would have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on market research before you could even get it there. And like, it's, it's almost impossible. Really, it is. Um, but it, on Etsy, I mean, once you're, once you're on there, you're on the shelf of consideration for 20 cents. It's like, it's, it's mind boggling. Like if, <laughs> if entrepreneurs knew about this a hundred years ago, they would just be like dying. They'd be like rolling over in their graves. Like, wow, this is so, so it's just unbelievable. It really is. Like I, I had, to, I said this when I first, you know, we start, we were on the video earlier. I feel like I've won the lottery because it's just like crazy. Like if there's work involved, as like I said, you know, I've, I've done early mornings, I've done late nights, um, you know, trying to get my listings in and things like that. Um, but like in terms of, of, of what you have to put in versus what you can get out. I mean, I feel like I, I've, I've won the lottery. So, so it's, I just, I love, I love this approach. I love that you guys have put this out there for everybody. Um, and I hope everyone takes action and, and, and opens up an Etsy shop and syncs it with Printful and starts designing because it, it, the only thing that thing that is stopping you is not doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, the thing that you said that's the most like earth shattering for me is that you have 2020 vision and complete clarity about the true essence of what this opportunity is. And I feel like most people don't. They're like, it's random videos from YouTube. These are just some random people, you know, and then, they're, you know, it's like, but you have like, you've distilled it down and you're like, oh my goodness like look what this is and it's like it's like people that like if you didn't have eyes to see like uh like diamonds don't come like all pre-cut and like you know it's just like this beautiful thing and so like if you didn't know what you're looking for you could just be like walking over like the desert and just be walking over you know hundreds of giant diamonds because they just kind of look like whitish stones right and i feel like that is how the vast majority of people observe this opportunity but you have the eyes to see like oh my goodness like there is unlimited free diamonds just yes. throughout this whole world if you just listen to what you know that jaren and kelsey and myself and the other people that have interviewed uh and and it's it's almost crazy right like you almost want to explode like it's like I'm, oh, it's, crazy. Oh, it's like it's right there it's just like all you have to do is pick it up like just do it and so yes. I yes. love that, that, you know, that, like I said, like the day that we had that dinner and our, our goal is to like help maybe like if we have, you know, this candle of light inside of us is to like pass that candle and light your candle. I mean, you're like a, you're like a bonfire. Like, you, you, you know what I mean? You get it. And so it's just so amazing. Like, I'm so proud of you. And like, you're just such a blessing to the world and you're so inspirational just being who you are. And like, I'm just so proud of all the success that you had. Like you deserve every ounce of it. That's you really for sure. Do. So yeah. you put in all the hard work, you listened and you implemented, you know, everything, all the tips that like we told you, because, you know, we are only telling you the stuff after we learned lessons of doing other things and that these are the things that worked. And so it's like, we're giving you like the fast pass and you were like, sweet, I'm just going to take the whole fast pass and um, <laughs> I'm going to just like not really do anything else. Yeah. And you took the fast pass and now you're like at the front of the line. Yeah. And I mean, you were doing so amazing. Like you're doing better than we did our first year. Oh, hundred percent. You know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. so you're just slaying it. You're yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. That's literally. why I'm so geeked because my, uh, my new year's goal last year was to make 50 sales. I was like, I wrote it down. Like I want to make 50 sales. And like, looking back, I'm like, 
how I, if someone would have told me I would be in the top 2% of Etsy shops in one year, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have, and during a pandemic, no less. During a pandemic. <laughs> I would have been like, shut up. Like, you know, you're crazy. <laughs> That's amazing though. Like what yes. a beautiful thing that you had this dream of having 50 sales like on the internet and like at the beginning. I've had thousands, thousands of sales. Thousands and thousands of sales. Like, and, and I feel like that's the thing that we love to talk about. It's like, it's so important mm -hmm. to like pick what you want. And like your goal is to make 50 sales. Well, mm -hmm. you made, you had the goal and yes. you had the inspiration and the desire to like achieve that goal. And so you went out and looked for it and you found a, uh, you know, a system that happened yeah. to come through us, through God and that it worked for you. But look at what, just having that initial idea of like, I want to build a little extra revenue. Look what that turned into. Like what a mm -hmm. beautiful dream to unfold and like, and just how important it is to have those goals, like make those yearly goals. Cause you never know where it could take you. And like, mm -hmm. look at you now way past 50 sales, thousands and thousands of sales. Yeah. And you know, you said, did you say a hundred thousand revenue in your first year? Over a hundred thousand. Over a hundred thousand, right? That's ridiculous. Like I guarantee Crazy. you. 99% of the businesses that started in 2020 did not make a hundred thousand. No, no. So literally <laughs> you're in the top 1% of businesses that started in 2020. I guarantee and, that. And you still have your full-time job. Yes. And I'm, I'm working full-time guys. No, <laughs> no, there, it's crazy. Like I, especially like during like when it, things really like ramped up during the holidays, um, I had days where I, w I was at work working and I was making more money on Etsy than I was at work. Yeah. It was wow. crazy. I'm like, Oh my goodness. I, I didn't even like look at my phone all day. I didn't, I didn't list anything. Like it, it truly was passive for me, like in November and December, cause like things are so busy with me at work for me at work. Like I'd maybe get on for like a half an hour a day, but like I was making, you know, some, sometimes up to $2,000 in sales a day. Yeah. And it was truly passive because I wasn't doing anything. Like yeah. I would get on like, you know, just check messages for a little bit, but like, it was truly passive. Like yeah. I wasn't having to go to the, the post office to make all this stuff and, and, and post it out and get it in the mail. And like, it was, it's just passive. Like yeah. Printful took care of it. They printed it, they shipped it like end of story. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, I cannot, compel you what an opportunity this is like it's so awesome I'm so glad that you've shared it and I've I've gotten to, to, to do it and now you know we finally have 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 really good savings and we were able to help a family member who um was in, in kind of had fallen on hard times because of the pandemic and help them pay their rent and um we were able to adopt families for Christmas and buy them Christmas gifts and um it's just been uh, such a blessing um, we've been able to donate more money to church and and to to um, orphans. Um, our, our church supports Hungarian orphans, and so it's so cool to like get to, you know, share share um, you know our blessings with others. So it, I, I just I love what you've done, and and I'm excited for the next year. Oh. So you'll have to do another video in a year, like with uh, people you've interviewed. Like, where are they now? <laughs> oh my gosh, 100. percent You like you you made me tear up. Who's cutting onions in here? Like, what's oh up God. with that? Like, <laughs> I know my hands are sweating so that's so beautiful like I mean I just am, you're just such an amazing person and I just thank you so much for being in our lives it really yes. has changed our lives like and having you here like our life is better because you're in it so. yes a thousand percent yeah yes. all right is there anything else that you guys want me to share no we yeah. love you that okay. was the best video ever yeah that so. really was your story is literally so cute because I feel like we knew maybe like 80% of it, Yeah. but there was cute uh -huh. little things that, you know, we hadn't heard, Absolutely. you know, that you probably like only kind of like remembered looking back and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. it just, mm -hmm. oh yeah. You proud of her? Say good job. Just, <laughs> I mean, I just, am just so proud of you yeah. and it's all because you listened and you implemented everything that we said and yes. then you put in the hard work. The fact that you have a full-time job and you're a mom and you're doing this, like you're an inspiration to me. Amen. And so I just have to commend you because your work ethic and dedication and like commitment is very inspirational to me. So you are A++. Plus plus Thank plus you. Yes. yes. And it makes me feel so good because honestly, you know, we've been in this for a long time, but this is our first shot at ever trying to teach anything. And so mm -hmm. like, you know, we, of course it's our hope and, you know, ambition that like it would be li listened to and heard and understood, but like hearing you like convey crystal clear, like these, these, these concepts that we've been working on for 10 years is like, <laughs> just makes me feel so good. Like it makes me feel good as a teacher and that like, I have the capability of like clearly articulating 
with like inspiration to other people that that can be then a motivator. And so like, thank you so much. So that really, You're welcome. honestly, that makes me feel so good. Like, if, you know, I don't know, I guess I get kind of self-conscious about like whether I'm a good teacher or not. And like having- No, you are. That's no, like I forgot to mention this earlier because it took a few months for my sword to, to take off because I, I didn't understand like, you know, certain concepts that you've taught along the way. And um, I remember like feeling discouraged and I mean like, well, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe I'm not a very good designer. You know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. And some of the things I did want wrong were just like, I was, I was too all over the place. Like I, had, I was trying to do blankets and canvases and like digital. And, and, and it was just like, no, like basics, like t-shirts and mugs guys. Like there's a yep, lot of money in t-shirts and mugs. Yeah, <laughs> um, so once I focused in on that, you know, um, it, it went, it took off very quickly, yeah. but like those first couple of months, like I remember just like being, I was like, I'm, I have like a 45 minute commute to work. Yeah. And I was just like, I had my phone and like, was like watching your videos like over and over again, just because you were saying like, you can do this, you can do this. And I, I needed to hear that because I was like, no, he's, he's being honest. He's being like genuine. I can do this. I just have to keep trying because you know, I'm doing something wrong and I was. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just because there were certain concepts that like, I just, I, I was getting in my own way and I was being stubborn and I wanted to do what I wanted to make. And that was not what people were making and, uh, um, you know, not following your advice. Yeah. Um, and some of it was, was because I got on the train early. The advice wasn't yeah, there yet. Yeah, not, I mean, you're totally right about like, cause we've <laughs> re gone over and heard so many questions that we kind of keep trying to add and like make yes. the, the program more robust. Yeah, so like, uh -huh. people, you know, we get like, I don't even know what it is, like 3000 views a day of like awesome. you know, people that aren't you know so it's like 3,000 humans that like didn't know us yesterday like know us today and like what you were saying is they get to go in like with all that backlog yes they're so lucky 